game and again the point of the game was to like randomly generate um a logic gate with a bunch of circuits that would be different for every single one of the students so my buddy had to give me a bit of a hint here because i was getting lost but you'll see i finally got it um, and technically in the last one you could say there was four and gates if you want um, i represented each of the rows in binary here i used the symbols to represent uh, represent the types of gates so we had an or gate because i had well, one part right i had a right color but not in the right position in the third round i did the same finally in the fourth round i got an and gate i got the right color this guy here and he was in the right position and then two and gates two and gates two and gates <coughs> sorry and four and gates so the last step here is to take this game which i've now kind of written a history of um, and we're going to represent it i'm going to shrink it a little so we have room here but you can see i'm in tinkercad in the circuits and i'm going to start to try to represent it um actually these are and gates i have here so my very first round actually should have been an or gate so i'm going to bring in bring in this or gate in my first round and remember i said there were four positions also we have um a b c d so i'm going to use four buttons to represent the a b c d and the other thing i should point out i'm going to scroll over here you can say round one is maybe or and and gates as it, as they get more um as they get stronger with the logic gates then you could have uh, n and gates and nor gates so not and not or gates you could do an x or gate and a not gate for the third one and then repeat that because there's 12 rounds you could have like a repeating process the students will have to kind of have an awareness of what those are um but i just stuck with or and and gates to, to show the simplicity of this so i have my or gate here i'm going to need four buttons so i'm going to scroll up quickly i quad where are my buttons here we go so i'm going to use push buttons for a we'll call that a b c and d okay and in my very first round i actually only had an or gate in the game if you recall i'll show you one more time i only got one or gate i was only able to get a, a color in the wrong spot so maybe i'm going to use a b so i'm gonna have to connect my wiring here um, First off, I'm going to make sure that I'm able to power the OR gate, okay? And we'll make that one red so we know that's power. Um, I also need to make sure I've grounded this logic gate. So I'm just using a 3-volt battery here. There we go. So this gate has been powered. Um, and if they call it a quad, that's because we have uh, four different outputs. So there's output one, output two, output four and output three right so there's actually four different and gates within this one so i can actually use one of these or gates and then as i go later into this i could just use one of these and gates um with the push buttons uh, for now i'll, I'll kind of use it i'll make like vertical rows to help us visually represent it because it could be difficult once it gets uh, complex with all the wires in we have our terminal one and remember the left side of the buttons uh, if power goes into it so here's our power going in Oh, have it as red. Um, we just got to make sure it transfers to terminal B. So I'm going to use the first AND gate. So that's input one. Um, and then in my second one, I'm going to do the same thing. But this one's going to go into input two. Okay. And then those that is going to take us to an output. So whatever my next row is, I have to make sure I'm from output one because that's where um, my first buttons are going to. So we'll call those buttons A and B. We also have to make sure there's power going to button C which will make red so we recognize power and button B the only thing is I don't have a gate oh, that didn't turn out I don't have a gate to connect them to at the moment so we'll just kind of leave them so if we recall that was round one round two actually got nothing round three I had two more or gates so we can zoom out a little oh sorry So now I could put in, so remember these were AND gates, I apologize. And you notice when you grab them, you have to, can I duplicate this? I can't, so I actually have to go down. Type in quad, so I have my OR gates, and you'll see not AND, so NAND gate, NOR gate, or not OR gate. Um, here's my other OR. So I'm going to use this as my second round. So in my second round, I'm going to use this AND gate to actually power this one. And again, remember, we're going to have to make sure that there's power to the logic gate that didn't work out 
as you zoom out, it gets a little more difficult. But you guys can see, we're going to build lots of rounds here. I'm not able to get it. Oh, I think it's because of the way I've clicked here. I'm going to come at an angle. Oh, man. Let's try a little better. There you go. Yeah, I got it. Um, I had to go right through it, unfortunately. And so, I mean, this part will be a little tricky. Let's ground this. Perfect. It's been grounded. We have our black. Okay. So, um, you'll see my output for my first AND gate is actually one of the inputs. Actually, I'll leave it as green. We'll say from the, from the logic gates, we'll leave those as green. And then maybe button two. Um, and I can technically have it from this wire here or this wire here. It doesn't technically matter. That could be my other input. But maybe I want C. So I want my input for my other AND gate to be C. So they're going to have to draw this out. They're going to have to make their own sketch of it also. Um, but just keep that in mind. And now that's powering my OR gate. And remember, we'll have to have the output from that OR gate for my second round and then my third round. And again, this game could have 12 rounds. So you're going to really build a complex gate as it goes and shifts. Um, I finally got an AND gate a little later in there. So let's get that AND gate. There you go. I finally got an AND gate in. So maybe I'm going to use this OR gate to be the input for my AND gate. Don't forget, I have to make sure I power it. And this is where I struggled last time. Got it. And I make sure it's ground again. Got it. Great. Okay, so there's my third round. And maybe in my third round, it's actually my D button is going to be the input to that one. Okay. Um, I'll make that red because that's coming straight from the button. Now, um, we've got to realize that uh, this is going to get pretty complex. So when they make the truth table, they're going to use this as maybe their tester for their truth table. Because depending on how many rounds, you know, this was my first round, I think my third round, my fourth round, I end up getting into six or seven rounds. So I have to build quite a few more logic gates in here. Um, finally, what we want to probably use is just like a light to prove that what we're doing is correct. So we could have it uh, powering this light here. Um, so it, it depends how many lights you need at the end here to, to make sure. Um, we could have the output, and technically it's got to go in the anode. And don't forget, we got to ground our light too. Cathode. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. So that light is, is ground. Um, right now, and this is going to be a little complex to see if I can get it. I definitely know what, because this is an AND gate here, I definitely need this button pushed. I'm going to hold shift. And these are OR gates. So I believe if I hit this one, Oh, I haven't started the simulation yet. Give me a second. Start simulation. There we go. Okay, it's on. Let me see. I'll turn it off. There you go. So they're both off. Um, so he's on. I'm sorry. I got to zoom in and see. I can't see my light. Mm, don't make me have to redo this after. Anyways. Um, here's the idea behind it. I'm not holding shift. That's probably not helping. I need this one for sure. Oh, I had it going. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, anyways, that's what makes this somewhat difficult. We've got to figure out all of our, our little steps here. So the game is to randomly generate um, kind of a, a circuit board, let's say with a lot of AND and OR or NOR XOR gates. And then you can test your truth table by, by clicking this. And this is all essentially by... Um, archiving your game in Mastermind. So you archive Mastermind, and then you're going to build your, um, I guess in a sense, of your circuit board here to, to use your light to see what the outputs, uh, what the outputs are when you change your A, B, C, and D inputs.